guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly Sue. I got asked how I did my papers, my book text with all the colors on them, which is very, very simple. But I know for, um, I know for some of you starting out that, you know, so many things can be or seem intimidating to do and they're so easy. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do a quickie and show you what I did. So first what I did is I took a book text. Now this is from a book I have here that I already read. Um, somebody wrote me and, and was not happy that I used um, book text on these. However, um, somebody sent those to me, but I do have many books that I do rip apart. If I already read them and I'm not going to read them again, why not use them in art? Um, and you can get, you can use a magazine paper. You can use, uh, you know, whatever you want, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. The dollar store has them. Uh, the library is always giving away books that are, you know, book, uh, that are so, um, broken and worn, you know, and those are the best pages. You can go to your dollar store, you can go to your thrift store, your Goodwill. You can find books very inexpensively. So all I did was crinkle them up like that. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I will take a little bit of water and just give a quick, just a quickie and <clears throat> it'll make the um, crinkles a little, a little smaller, a little better. Depends on what you want. Whatcha, whatcha, whatcha want? All right. Sorry. Beastie Boys reference. I do enjoy the Beastie Boys. Okay. So as you can see here, crinkled. All I do is I take some colors. This is yellow. This is um, lemon yellow. These are the ones that have been sitting here that I use uh, quite often. And I'm just doing that. And I'm not even paying mind to you know what way and now this is a piece that I did not crinkle but I'm just gonna wipe my brush off on it now what I suggest to do is to take your heat gun or your hair dryer uh, and if you don't have either of those you can go to your local thrift store and they have them for a couple bucks but if you don't have anything it's not the end of the world especially starting out I get a lot of uh, people that are new to uh, mixed media and art journaling and they're always worried that they don't have a heat gun or a hair dryer. Don't. I use it because, you know, I'm on video and I don't want to sit here for, you know, five minutes and waiting for it to dry. But for you, I always say put on your favorite uh, YouTuber or favorite song or video, whatever, and just listen to it. And you will see by the time the song's over, whatever, you'll be mostly dry. And I'm not completely dry, but I'm dry. Um, okay, so I like to do light to dark. Um, I think if you go dark to light, sometimes you can end up with a poopy brown color. Now, if you want the poopy brown color, by all means, get the poopy brown color. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's just not what I'm going for. So now I'm going to use uh, PR Orange from Folk Arts. It's no secret I love me some folk art. Okay. You see, just the littlest bit, not a big deal. And my brush, I kind of rinsed it, um, and it's kind of um, just a little damp. Now, the yellow is a little wet still, but I like that because you just get different variations of that orange, you know. And that's all I'm going to do. That is how simple. So if I go on here, and I'm just, look, a double D, yeah. That's literally it. This is what I do with my extra time, <laughs> is sit and sing, and I kind of throw color on paper. Sometimes it's scrapbook paper that I don't like. I have a video on that. Um, I will try to remember to link it up there and down below. I have Sometimes on YouTube, it's hard to find, to go through all the videos I have to find videos that, uh, you know, I want you guys to see as well, but I'll probably do my best to find it for you, but I'm just going to dry it real quick, dry it real quick, dry it real quick, dry it real quick. Okay. Now I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with green and I'm going to go with a light green, but you use whatever green you have and look, and then I can put it right there. And again, I want a damp brush, not soaking wet, and I want it clean. Not it doesn't have to be perfectly clean, but 
you want it, you know. No look. Look at that. That's all I'm doing on there. Just adding some. And then I'll go here and clean off. And you can use go now and use a darker green if you want, which I'm going to do grass green. Just a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to smush it. Unsmush it real good. That's it. And then I'll go in here and kind of do like this. Clean them off. Set it over there. Rinse off. Okay. Tap that off. Dry it one more time and then I'm going to throw down a darker color like purple or even black. Probably purple. And it's metallic, which I love, adding glitter or metallic. Now you see it coming together. Now I'm a grungy kind of girl, and I love grunge. I love it looking old and icky, but, um, and I'll show you how I do that in a second. But, and it's just to mute the colors. These are awfully bright. But, you know, when you're using this, you know, this paper, you could tear it and get so many different um, colors and ideas. And, you know, so this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of go over the rest of that white. And I kind of dig that little, like, of, like, purple, that kind of drug right there. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm going to do this. Kind of do that. Okay. And then I will... Do this here. All right. So now I'm going to dry this for the most part. Now I'm going to give you a little tip that I like to do as well. I don't know if I have any more paper sitting here. Probably not. Because I wasn't thinking. All right. So I'm going to give this, you know, just a quick once over dry. I love the little dribbles because who doesn't like a little dribble now and then? I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> don't ask. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back of this. No, I'll, I'll do the back of this. All right. And what I'm going to do is, and you can use any kind of paper you have. Um, I'm doing a thing on here for video, so I don't do that. Okay. So I'm just going to lay it on here, whatever paper you have. And this is going to help it dry too, because it's going to pick up that excess. And if you don't want to use your hands, because you can see some of the paint comes out and you know, sometimes you get dirty. And then lift it off. Now, there's not that much that's wet, but I'm starting something there. You see what I'm saying? So if you do that and you just keep this beside you and start lifting it up, all the different colors, you'll have a great background there. Okay. So we have this. So then what I'm going to do, it's almost like doing the like tie-dye or shibori in a sense right so i'm just gonna i'm gonna fold it in half so i don't get paint on my hands and then i'm gonna crinkle it one more time we're gonna crinkle it maybe colors will blend maybe they won't we'll know when we open it but then what i want to do i got every song in my head zoom a zoom zoom a zoom i don't even know what song that is but that's what's in my head when i said now what we're gonna do Okay, anyway, now look at this. I'm just lightly, easily going to pull it a little bit apart. And look at that. Look how nice. And then what I like to do, there's two things you can do. You know what I'll do? I'll tear this. I'll cut this in half to show you the two different things. And I know most of you are going to be like, oh, that's so easy. Because it is. It is. Maybe it's intimidating when you first see it, but it's really not. It's very easy. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take black paint. This is just pure black. And I'm going to give it a poop like that. I'm going to get my brush and clean it off. And I don't um, need it too dry. I mean too uh, wet. But I want it 
wood enough. And then what I like to do, which is this, and I'm not worrying if it doesn't go into all the nooks and crannies, and I'm going to give it a little squirt of water and leave that sit just for one second. Go move him over there. And then this one, what I'm going to do, I have the black paint on my brush and I'm just going to lightly hold it at the end. Cause I, I really hold this at the end <laughs> on black nail polish on, um, I don't know, but, uh, so you don't have too much control cause you don't want to push and all that. So I'm going to take it very lightly. Like, a, like you have a feather and I'm going to drag it and you can do this with any color. And what it's going to do is pick up all those little crunchy parts. I'm going to do it this side. Now you can see this right here is a little up a little bit more, but that's all right. Now imagine if you go on this with, I don't know, red or whatever color you want, but look at that. That is absolutely delicious. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm not going to dry it. I'm going to take, this is like an old baby wipe. It's dry. Could be damp or a little dry and I'm going to go in and I'm going to wipe it and I'm wiping it. Now you might say, Oh, you know what? That's a little too dark for me yet. So then just go back in with a little more water and start wiping it. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is why I love art. Not because I tear my paper because it's wet. Yes, you have to be careful. You do. But I don't care. I'm not mad at it. It's just, it's paper. It's doing what it does. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. You can take a little more off if you want, but I'm kind of digging that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Sit this over here for a second. I'm gonna go in and just wipe. I'm sorry, my chair, listen to it, my chair. It's like making its own noise, because I'm so, the way I'm sitting. Okay, I'm so sorry. All right, so I throw that away. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna lay these two here. We're gonna dry them, and then I'm gonna show you. And I'm only drying this one because it's a little fragile. This one, I just want that paint to dry, which is almost dry, really. And I've been known <laughs> to get out my iron, or if I'm ironing, you know, or whatever, and I will iron the paper, and the, it still stays in there. But what you can do is, let me just get this. You can take this and just take, you know, whatever you have here that you can roll. You could do your, use your roly poly too, or brayer as some of you like to call it. Um, yeah. And you can see when it's warm, it's just going to help you flatten that out a little bit, right? And then you can go back with a little more heat if you want. But if you use this as decor, like as a paper that you're going to glue down on something, um, you know, you just push it down and it'll work too, but you'll see. All right. So this is that one. And you can still see the bright underneath and all that, but look how cool. And it's just, it's just a neat looking thing. This is an ATC background. This is a this is a start of, you know, if you do this on a couple sheets, this is a start for a mixed media background, art journal page, whatever. You can cut your, use this on your die cut machine or cut a heart or a star or whatever you want out of it and use it, like I said, anywhere you want. And then this, which is almost dry, but look, it still has shine and all that. And it's the grungy part. And I love that. Now you can take some white paint, you could plop it on there, you know, like, so it's, uh, what's those words called? I can't think when you splatter, splatter, you could splatter on here, splatter on here, whatever color you want, whatever you want to do. But this is the same color, same thing, two different looks you get. Like I said, 
This can be an ATC background or part of a mixed media background, uh, art journal page, whatever, both of them, absolutely perfect. And I already got one started here, so then I can go on with other colors or whatever I want and keep making them. So these are fun to do with the kids. I know I always say that, um, you know, but with summer and everything like that, you know, get a book from the library that they don't use anymore or a magazine or whatever you have and sit with the kids and let them come up with their own combinations and whatever they want and just have a blast. Let them have a blast and, and then you get all these great mixed media papers. So I hope that this was useful for you guys. Again, this was a request. I know I've done similar things like this before, but if you enjoy these videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to, please subscribe to click the button down below and the little bell next to it. Um, you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And yeah, I just love you guys so very much. And I hope this was helpful. And if you do anything like this, all my social media is down below. Go check them out and tag me so I can see the work that you do. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And remember, progress, not perfection. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.